An object tracker allows someone to select an object in the video and have it tracked throughout the sequence. Um, in this application, you can select an object and it will track it, as is shown here. However, for the most part, we will stick to the pre-selected ones. BoostCV provides several different real-time object trackers. The circle tracker by Henrika is, is being shown here. The original algorithm has been improved upon in BoostCV to be even faster run at a constant rate independent of region size, has subpixel accuracy, and how the image border has been tweaked. Like most other trackers in Booth CV, it is a local tracker. What that means is it searches the local region around the current track for a good fit. Alternative approaches search the whole image for a match. The main disadvantage of local trackers is that they can't recover when a track is lost. Often they don't even realize that they lost a the track which is what just happened. TLD, also known as Predator, is an example of a tracker which can recover from lost tracks. TLD is a lot slower than the circulant tracker and is a bit more finicky. It does a good job overall at redetecting the tree in this video with the one false positive you just saw. An example of how TLD can be finicky is this book video where it has trouble redetecting the book after it's lost. Sparse Flow Tracker or SFT is a simple tracker which uses a pyramidal KLT and can estimate changes in scale plus rotation. If the surface is planar, which this book is, it can actually do quite a good job and is the only tracker in Boost CV which can estimate rotation. However, SFT um, fails under many um, simple conditions such as this, where it can't even track the blue ball. Mean shift only uses color information. The mean shift tracker you're seeing now tries to match the square region's histogram using a local search. It works quite well and is also fast. It can also be configured to estimate scale, but only does an alright job of that. This other type of mean shift tracker um, estimates the likelihood on a pixel by pixel basis and then runs mean shift on that likelihood image. Um, it works quite well when the, the object being tracked is composed of a single color and runs quite fast, as you can see by looking at the frames per second in the upper left. Um, here is an example of where it fails uh, when the object is composed of multiple colors. But the original mean shift algorithm I just mentioned will actually work just fine. BoostCV contains a nice selection of object trackers to choose from. Each one works well under certain conditions and fails under others. This is an active area of research and there should be even better trackers out in the future.